How's it going everyone? John here and welcome back to another streaming video. Now this one's actually going to be pretty lengthy because of the fact I'm going to be showing you guys the navigation for when you have your own channel. Now this is actually something that some people have actually asked me to do because they feel that the navigation here on Twitch is actually very difficult to understand. And for the first time being on here, or if you haven't been on here in a while, it can definitely be intimidating and you just don't know where things are. So I'm gonna do my best to be able to navigate you guys through it very quickly. And I won't try to go into too much detail onto exactly what all is you know, in each section. I want you guys to kind of explore that yourself, but I'll kind of just give like a general overview. But if I do get kind of caught into a little bit of a discussion on certain areas, at least I warned you guys in the very beginning, this video was going to be pretty long. So basically what I'm on right now is my page. This is my channel page. And the way I got here after I logged in is I clicked on here and I went to channel. This will bring you directly to your channel here. Then you have your video producer, which is going to jump you to, it's a shortcut to another area, which I'm going to show you through the dashboard and all this other stuff we won't have to worry about if you guys want to know more about this i can definitely talk about it in a different video let me know in the comment section what we're going to is dashboard so on your dashboard th this all right here is like oh my god there's so much right you may have some little things that pop up here fun little things to learn but this right here this is uh this is not as intimidating as you think so it's actually very useful so going from left to right, you have your stream information. This is where you're going to put like your title, your go live notification. Basically, like when you actually hit the go live button, this little pop up is going to say something for people to see that are actually following you. And usually it pops up over here inside of their notification bell. And this is where you're going to put like the game that you're playing. What's nice is there's tags. So the tag system, they're kind of trying to use like search engine optimization, also known as SEO. So if you go into the search here and you type in shooter or if you type in FPS or something like that, those tags are going to help them find you. So it's really nice. And you can have up to five tags. So it's really cool that they're actually adding something like that. Then down here, you'll be able to see your stream health, you know, or, you know, how is your bit rate doing? And are you skipping frames or anything like that? So it's nice to see like how that's actually, you know, it's there. And then you have your own preview of your stream. You can set up little stream markers and everything like that. You can see your overall stats, like your viewers and followers and subs and all this different things right there. You got your chat right here. And then if you wanted to set up a premiere, so the premieres are basically where you schedule when something big is going to go live and your, your, your streaming community is going to know about it. Or you can do what's reruns. Reruns are basically where you don't have to have your encoder going and you can just simply go and take one of your past live streams and you can replay it and your chat will be live, at, but it will say like rerun or you would have to retitle it and be like rerun and then um, that way people know that it's rerun. Now it will also say it in the corner of the of this, uh, preview window and everything, but being able to set up a rerun and turn your computer off and it's still being running in the background. It's just replaying your previous uh, live stream can really help you boost your audience and trying to find people at a time that you don't normally stream. And maybe you have like the phone app open and you're just interacting with your chat through the mobile app. So there's definitely great benefits from reruns. And then you have your raids and host, so you can set it up for auto hosting and you can see who's hosting you and everything like that. So that's actually pretty cool. Now you can have different extensions um, set up if you want to. You don't have to have extensions. Um, I'll get into extensions in just a second. It's actually the next thing we're going to. But as you can see, this really isn't all that complicated and you don't have to have this up, but it's everything in one screen. So it's very useful. Now extensions, extensions is what kind of can add some flavor to your stream. And it's usually what you see below people's live streams. And like you can have your own little tiny interactive buttons if you want to, or you know, you can add a, a whole bunch of different things. They have loyalty systems, they have schedules and countdowns. 
You have different engagements for your viewers, like buttons and stuff like that that they can use bits for. You know, there's definitely different things here that you can add to just kind of make your stuff unique. Like maybe you play music and you want people to be able to see like what's being played, what the next song is going to be and stuff like that. So there's a lot of different things you could do with it. And then achievements. This is where you're going to be able to kind of see your metrics of what you are trying to achieve. So if you're trying to go for path of affiliate, it's going to give you all the different things you need to do to reach that. Then you can try to go for path for partner and everything like that. And it will show you, you know, your average view of 75. How close are you to that? Are you streaming 12 unique days? Are you streaming 25 unique hours, you know? And then there's all these different ones that you're in progress for. So it's giving you these little tiny things to kind of go for. Maybe you're trying to get 15 people to chat at one time to unlock that VIP badge. And you're just working towards more things. Maybe you're not trying to go for partner, but you're trying to hit one of these other goals. So there's that. And then there's events where you can set up events for your own stream channel. You have your activities. And this will just kind of show you, you know, when you went live and everything like that. You have your streaming tools, and this is just kind of giving you an idea of like what you can use. Like you can use XSplit, you can use OBS, Player.me, you know, stream elements and stuff like that. Then if you go into your analytics, this is where it's going to show you more information about your channel. So it's going to show you like your breakdown of how much you're getting paid and everything like that, how many subs you have, how many tiers for each sub and everything, and you know, how many you're how many you're averaging in terms of, you know, live views or how many followers are you getting and stuff like that. So it's really good to see. You're actually going to actually, you'll see, um, uh, like a bar graph or, um, yeah, probably a bar graph. And then you have your stream summary moving on. (laughs) So then you got your own video producer. This is where you can create highlights. This is where you can take videos that you may have wanted to upload onto YouTube and you can bring them over here for people to watch and everything like that. And you have your video moderation. So if you have any messages that you need to review or delete or anything like that, collections are like playlists and everything like that. And it just makes it a lot easier for you to just kind of organize your, your content like playlists. And then clips are when people or if you Go and find a funny moment that you want to capture from another streamer and then you would go and clip it and it would be here and you can even view it on the ones that you know you've created or that are from just your channel in general that other people have clipped which is nice then you can go down here to your channel where you can get your stream key and you can add in all different types of information like your your um offline banner and everything like that so it's very good for that you have your roles roles are something new it's where you can see your moderators but you can also see people who are either a vip or an editor you can only have 10 vips and stuff like that and it's just kind of bragging rights for those really loyal followers that you have then for your moderation tools there's a lot of great stuff here you want to make sure you spend a good portion here now with the moderation tools the thing is, if you don't have a mod, definitely utilize the auto mod option. This is a very, 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 very good thing to have. You can customize it however you want to. And basically what this does, and I've done a video on this, but basically what this does is it allows you to set up certain criteria that if it gets caught inside of the auto mod, it will kind of show you on the screen that you either want to un- like approve it or deny the message that came through. No one's going to see it until you give it an action. So if you deny it, no one's going to see it, period. If you approve it, then it goes into the chat and people see it. But I already have this covered in a video. Same thing with the roles. And then, of course, with affiliate, once you get affiliate, then you have these kind of breakdowns on, you know, your onboarding process, your payment methods and badges and all this other stuff. So it's just another step for you. But the main thing is this is not very complicated navigation. It's really, really simple stuff to navigate. And I know I kind of went through this very, very quickly. So if you do have 
any questions, any questions at all about the navigation, or if I missed anything, let me know in the comment section below, or you can reach out to me over on Discord or on Twitter, and I have no problems talking to you guys about this type of stuff. But like I said, this was definitely something that a lot of people had asked me to make a video on because they felt that it was just so overwhelming. And again, at first it very well can be, but hopefully this video helped you guys with the navigation and for some, this may be a very simple thing, but for others, maybe not. And that's why this video was created. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to check out the other content on the channel as well. For there is a lot of different stuff that I talk about when it deals with streaming. And I'm very open on different platforms for, you know, talking about live streaming in general. Because for me, it's about supporting the creator and not necessarily the platform that they go to. So... If you guys have any questions about streaming in general, let me know. But like I said, take a look at the channel. If you enjoy the content, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in a future video. Take care.